U.S. stocks has worst performance since the Great Depression. The latest decline leaves the Standard & Poor's 500 down, 20% from its peak, and the Dow has dropped another 600 points. U.S. stocks fell again on Friday, pushing Wall Street into bear market status amid inflation and recession fears and leaving investors on their longest losing streak since the Great Depression by at least one key measure. The Standard & Poor's 500 index fell as much as 2.3%, leaving it 21% below the all-time high that it reached in January and essentially ending a bull market run that began in March 2020. The S&P is considered the most accurate measure of U.S. stock market performance, as it's broader based than the 30-member Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is made up only of blue-chip securities. The Dow fell as much as 617 points, down 2% on the day and 16% year-to-date. The blue-chip index was on pace to cap a weekly decline of more than 4%, marking its eighth straight weekly drop and the longest such losing streak since 1932, according to Dow Jones market data. That year marked the Dow's lowest point of the Great Depression. The Nasdaq Composite is in even deeper bear market territory than the S&P, down 30% year-to-date and 32% off its peak level. The Nasdaq fell as much as 352 points, or 3.1% on the day. Now that the S&P is down over 20% it is officially in a bear market, economist Peter Schiff said. But the bear market didn't start today. It started on January 4, when the S&P hit its high. We've been in a bear market ever since. It's just that investors have been in denial. This bear will be extremely fierce. Former Goldman Sachs chief executive Lloyd Blackfine warned earlier this week that the U.S. economy was at a very, very high risk of sliding into recession. Inflation is at a 40-year high, and the nation's central bank is pushing interest rates higher to help restore price stability. The process of getting inflation down to 2% will also include some pain, but ultimately the most painful thing would be if we were to fail to deal with it and inflation were to get entrenched in the economy.